Hey guys, Jared back. So I got a really, really cool application for you. It's called Push Bullet. Now it has been around for a little bit, but it's been recently updated with a super cool new and super useful feature. Now, before we get started, go away. Before we get started, um, <laughs> You've, you'll notice that I've got my crappy little netbook here that I use mainly for my Android modding and hacking. Uh, the fan in it's extremely loud, so if it does kick in during my talking, um, I apologize beforehand, but my microphone is quite sensitive, and it's sitting literally right above my finger. That said, let's go ahead and get started. So, of course, like always, I'll be posting a link in the description down below to the application to the Play Store so you can download it right away. Now, uh, for those of you that are unaware of what Push Bullet is, basically what it does is allows you to share files from your desktop um, and links and a bunch of other stuff to your device and vice versa. So from your device to your uh, Chrome browser here, actually. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how this works. Now, once you download it, obviously it's going to um, attach itself to your Gmail account. So you might want to be aware of which Gmail account you're going to want to attach it to. Um, that's it. Next thing you're going to want to do is um, to take full advantage of the application itself is actually uh, go to their website pushbullet.com and then simply just sign in. Um, in fact, once you uh, download this application, you log in through here, you'll actually receive an email to that Gmail application, uh, in which case it'll, it'll um, have links to direct you to the uh, uh, Pushbullet Chrome browser extension. Uh, they also do have one for Fo Firefox as well, um, so we'll leave that up to you, but uh, I think it works best with Chrome. So anyways, uh, once you log in, <clears throat> then you come here. Now you'll notice we've got um, a couple of different things we can do here. In fact, what we'll end up doing actually is come here and manage devices. So uh, as far as I know, though don't quote me on this, I'm pretty sure you can actually add as many devices as you want, again, from what I know. Uh, so you'll notice here that I've actually got my Galaxy Note 3, although it's just a model number there. So what I would do then is, because that's the device that I want to pick, I would go ahead and click on uh, push to this device. So from that point on, I could say, for instance, come around here, I can um, write myself a note, like let's say for instance, um, uh, reminder, your two, that's not how you spell your, <laughs> you're too cool for school, right, and that's the truth. So then we go ahead, come down here and click push it, now wait, wait for it. Ooh, what's that? I've got a notification. Pull this down. There it is. As you can see, reminder, you're too cool for school. I can go ahead and tap on it, and there it is. Alternatively, we can delete it or go ahead and share it with whatever applications it is you want to share it with. So that's pretty neat. Um, same thing, you can do that for addresses. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool um, idea here. You can actually type in the address, right, and send it to yourself, um, you know, push it to your device, <clears throat> and then once it shows up in your device, uh, you can actually, you have the option to actually use Google Navigation to go right from there and start the navigation process, which is really, really convenient and easy. And of course, we do have lists, so grocery lists, things like that. You can send files uh, previously before the update. As far as I understand, it was only at 10 megabytes uh, maximum file size. Now they've bumped it up to 25 megabytes. Now I know a lot of what a lot of you guys are thinking, those of you that are subscribed to me because of rooting and ROMs and mods and so on and so forth, yeah, that's not big enough to send a ROM file. But think about this <clears throat> you don't have link so what you could do is go ahead navigate to your XDA page to the forum thread <clears throat> Excuse me, I feel like an old man. Um, and then you know how they have uh, mirror links for the actual download uh, themselves? You can go ahead and copy and paste those into there, and that way you end up getting the notification here, go ahead and click on it, and it immediately starts downloading. That is what you call convenient, all right? Now, what else can we do here? Well. Let's go ahead and click on Manage Devices again. Uh, you'll notice we've got this little share button here, and um, this was actually, like, the, the, it's not very intuitive. They don't exactly explain what this is for. This is basically for, uh, I'll give you a scenario. Say, for instance, I want my wife and I to be able to share push notifications via push bullet uh, with each other. Maybe she's out and about and I wanted to run by the store and pick up um, some ice cream or something like that. Uh, well, I would go ahead and type in, of course, if she's as long as she's all set up and logged in with push bullet, um, I can go ahead and type in her uh, Gmail address there, click share, then I can come back here, click on manage devices, her device will be in here and then I can go ahead and, and go ahead and do the same process by clicking on push to this device and I can do whatever it is I want and she will then get the notification showing up in her notification bar that's really cool I mean imagine the possibilities you know friends and family and just the cool things that you can share easily like that right now so that's all fine and dandy getting it to your device but what about getting your device stuff to the Chrome browser let's go ahead and see how that works so we go ahead you know of course I'm gonna unlock my device um, now, 
what I could do is click on push and let's say for instance I wanted to I don't know push a picture let's just pick something silly here like my half-assed BBM picture you'll notice that it says Chrome there so I've already got it set up to push to Chrome alternatively I could push it to my um, Galaxy Note 3 which I would be kind of pointless because this is my Galaxy Note 3 um, but while you're doing that one thing you'll want to do once uh, before you try to attempt pushing it to your Chrome browser and this is a little tip for you guys that I had to figure out painstakingly on my own though I'm sure most people are more intelligent than I. Um, once you download the actual Google Chrome extension, um, you'll click on that, and um, I've already done so, but right about here, there will be a little link that says um, push to Chrome or enable push to Chrome. You're going to want to make sure you click on that, and that's the only way that your application will end up picking up on the fact that you are, in fact, connected to Chrome. That said, we'll go ahead and share this to Chrome, wait for it, and we should see a notification if everything goes well. There's my notification. I can go ahead and click on that notification there. And there's my photo in its totally effed up glory, right? But you get the general idea. Now, uh, what about videos as an example? Well, you know, maybe I want to um, uh, share my... Uh, oops, we're going this way. Other way, right? Other way. Uh, so say, for instance, we wanted to go to, you know, YouTube as an example. I got my video all queued up here, ready to go. Uh, so I'm like, cool, man. Well, I want to share this with my wife, even though she's not remotely interested in custom ROMs and things like that. I can go ahead and select push this. There it is. Go ahead and select that to share it. Push the notification. There's a push notification there. Click on it and away we go. We now have YouTube opening up right to my video link. Um, that's cool. It's convenient and simple and easy. I know a lot of you guys out there are probably saying to yourself, or to me, I should say, screaming into the screen, even though I can't hear you. Um, Jared, there's Dropbox. You can do that with Dropbox. Okay, you tell me that that wasn't <clears throat> easier than um, Dropbox. You tell me that Dropbox was quicker and easier than that was, and I'll call you a liar. Um, in addition to that, um, how simplistic is this application? Here's the slide out menu, right? Whoop. That's it, that's all you get. And of course, you'll have some various devices to push stuff to as well. And then of course, we have the option of what we want to push. And that's it, there is no settings option. That's it, there's send feedback and, and that's it. So simplicity, um, it's stable, it works, and it's fast. And best of all, it's free, guys. It's free. Um, I'll, like I said before, I'll be posting a link in the description below so you can go and take advantage of this application. Um, when my wife gets home from work, I'll be forcing this onto her myself. So, so um, take advantage of it right now. Um, it's awesome. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, you like this application, click that likes button down below. I always appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this in the future. That's it for now, though. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.